a visualization not to use. They better to agree more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they better be avoided at all costs. But this is, if it loads, even Data Studio doesn't want to load it. How hard and complicated it is to load a pie chart compared to an interactive Google map. It's a sign. It's a sign. It's a sign, yeah. Let's try again. God, it really doesn't want to do that. Okay. So command R for a hard refresh. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Very useless, especially in this setting, this pie chart, because the human brain isn't really good at comparing the angles between the different pies. So this one and this one, if you do not hover your mouse over these ones, it's really hard to figure out which one of these two are larger or which one of these two or these two or these three. It's really hard to figure out. Our brain is not made for comparing the lengths of curved lines or inside angles of pies. It's a bad way of visualization. It doesn't look good. It doesn't communicate anything. But if you love using PyChart, if you have to use PyChart, there's some best practices that makes them somehow bearable. First of all, try to limit the use of PyChart to the dimensions where there are only few categories involved. So this one, completely useless. This one, I'm starting to being able to read it, right? This one is not that bad. I can, I can read something. I can see desktop is much more than mobile and both of them are much more than tablet, right? Especially if I have the actual number here, which is impossible to put it here, which is bad. It's still bad. And whenever you have just two categories, male versus female, new versus returning visitor, true versus false, things like that, then it might be the uh, one of the only viable and okay ways of using a power chart. Despite it's still not the best use of real estate on your okay? If you want to use them, if you have to use them, if you love to use them, please stick to two, maximum three values in a pie chart. The donut chart is like a cuter way of representing a pie chart. The same rules apply. Don't use them if you can, and use them only for a couple of values or categories if you have to, and try to actually put the numbers as well. It makes it easier to compare them together and read the chart. Alternatives. Now, to be honest, this is one of the only okay ways of showing the distribution of values within a dimension. So if we have a single dimension, like number of users, we want to see how the distribution is towards 100%, which we know and returning visitors between different devices. PyChart is one of the only viable options. So if you're not going to use PyChart, what are the alternatives? One of them is my, if it loads, which it doesn't. Okay, yeah. My beloved bar chart, vertical bar chart, because it's the same data set, right? It is the exact same data set. But now, instead of angles and curve lines and pies, we have a straight bars side by side, color coded, that we can easily compare with each other, right? We can easily see that this one is larger than this one. We can easily see the actual number and percentage of any of these. But if you want to actually show the distribution, there's another way to have a single horizontal stacked bar chart, which shows the same distribution, not on a curved line or a circle, but on a straight line, which is again, something that in my opinion is a much better way use of reported real estate, even better than this one, right? Because it just takes less space and it's cleaner and easier to read. Okay. 